everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just got ready for the day. Of course, we gotta start this video off with an outfit of the day. Okay, so we've got sweatpants are from Old Navy. I'm wearing white high top Vans. My socks are American Eagle. Top is Target. And a Princess Polly denim jacket. This is my favorite denim jacket. It's like the perfect oversized. Let me tell you guys what size I have in it for reference. I am wearing the extra small slash small, and that's how oversized it is on me. I am normally an extra small or small, so I would just go with your regular size. So I feel ready to knock out the day. I'm so freaking comfortable. And I'm not wearing black. Are we proud? Claps for Alyssa. Also yesterday, I did not vlog, but I went ahead and chopped off some of my hair because I have to get my extensions changed out next month anyway. I have gum under my tongue so that I don't smack for you guys. That's why I'm talking weird. So I figured why not try like chopping some of it off because I'm gonna get it back long again next month anyway. I also wanted to see what it would feel like to have kind of shorter hair with the thickerness. Thickerness? <laughs> I also wanted to see how I would like having shorter hair but with the fullness of the extensions and I really like it. I think it's a nice fresh change. The weather in New York has been so beautiful. So it feels like spring is coming. I got a nice fresh haircut. It feels really nice. I went to my girl Abby of course so if you guys need a haircut or hair coloring she's insane. I'll have her Instagram down below. Also I want to talk about my lip gloss that I'm wearing. Oh my gosh wait a second. Look what I got in the freaking mail yesterday. If you guys follow me on Instagram you would have already seen this. If you don't follow me on Instagram it's at Alyssa you'll see more content on there my story and stuff anyways I got Bretman Rocks collab with wet and wild the PR package I'm so excited to try all of this out I did try the setting spray yesterday it smells so good it's like coconut and it looks like it's like gold so pretty the palette is pretty like bold colors that I don't wear very often but this could be good to have because I don't have any palettes like that I got rid of all of them so that's good to have in the collection and then there's three eye brushes which the packaging is just so cute and then of course we have the lip glosses so today i'm actually wearing wet and wilds this one hang on this is my favorite nude lippy it's wet and wild cat suit it is in the shade send nudes <laughs> so good love it so much that's like my everyday lip and then on top of it i threw his new lip gloss fearless it is so pretty it's not sticky it feels really smooth on the lips i actually really really like it a little up close and personal but how freaking pretty Love it! So good! I can't believe that I'm even on Wet n Wild's PR list. Like, that is insane to me. You guys know that's like one of my favorite makeup brands. Like, what? What has my life come to? So blessed. So cool. Anyways, today was supposed to be a beautiful day on Long Island. It was supposed to be like 60 degrees like it was yesterday. It was so beautiful. I literally was able to walk around in a t-shirt yesterday and was so like comfortable. We went on a beautiful walk. It was so nice. And today was supposed to be the same, but for some reason it like turned around. It's cloudy and kind of rainy today. It's still 55 degrees, which is nice, but my mom and I were going to go out east on Long Island and like go maybe apple picking or to a winery and do something fun, have like a mom-daughter day. But the weather just didn't really hold up. Plus, like the coronavirus has gotten a little crazy. <laughs> not that I'm terrified of it. Like I'm not like not gonna leave my house, but I don't know, the crappy weather plus that and they were shutting down some places out east. So we kind of just said, forget it and wait till the weather gets nice. I think we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves for the nice few days that we were getting. So we decided instead, I want to go to Home Goods and Target anyway. I've been wanting to go and get a few little things. So we're just gonna have a little girls day shopping. And I actually, think she is here so I'm gonna grab us some water she just asked for some and we're gonna head out cute are those new what Ooh. what are they vans you like them? Yeah, when'd you get them? A while ago. No, like... Oh, God, I gotta clean them for you. <laughs> <laughs> Use the magic eraser. They're cute. It's the new trend to wear these dad socks. Yeah, what? <laughs> but I need white ones. These are like cream. Oh, my God. That's like back in the day. <laughs> Back in the day yeah, how you used to cool. wear. <laughs> we just got in here and I already found something cute. My mom pointed it out. She wanted it, but I stole it from her. But it's fine. That's what daughters do, right? <laughs> It's so cute. It looks like a little tag, but it's got like this rope hangy thing and it just says hello spring because 
I'm probably not going to decorate for like Easter or anything, but if I can add like maybe I'll find a little bit of decor here to add for spring, like maybe some like yellow flowers and like more succulents. I think that'll be like a cute way to spice it up for spring. The main thing that I came here for was a trash can for the bedroom because we just have like this old clear one that's from like my old bedroom when I was younger. So it's definitely time for a new one. Also, I would like some new pillows for the couch for springtime because I'm nuts. Maybe just like one for the middle. I want like um something for spring. I don't know how to incorporate spring for someone that likes neutrals though. That's the problem. Something creamy. <laughs> Part of me wants to put this in there, but like I'll get sick of it. I like that one, bunny love. But that's like Easter, not spring, right? Oh my that's God, like, that so cute. that's neutral and cute, right? I kind of need that. <laughs> that's why it's cute, it's you guys. It's Ray Dunn. All her stuff is cute. <laughs> See, neutral, but cute. Okay, how do we incorporate good. spring? Help me, you're good at this. Okay, yeah. Bunnies are spring or Easter more? They're like Easter, right? Yeah, they're Easter and spring. Easter and spring. Been that a while. All right, so for the bedroom, garbage. Black, because we have like the black decor. This is just so small, okay, but. Look at this one, the white one. That's cute, mm -hmm. that's big. That just looks like a bathroom garbage. It doesn't look like a bedroom. That's tiny, I don't know what you're doing I know, doing this there. is really small. I mean, we don't really have that much garbage in the bedroom, you know? True, but it's nice to have. Maybe should I not settle? Yeah, don't settle. You always tell me not to settle. Okay, we won't settle. Maybe we'll find one at Target. Yeah, maybe we'll find one at Target. They don't have that big of a selection. Weird. How freaking cute is this? The only thing is though, like, I'm not like a big Easter person. Like, why am I gonna decorate for it? You know what I mean? <laughs> this guy, this guy can go, if you guys watch like when we de decorate for like other holidays and stuff, where we put like our seasonal stuff, we put our poly bear. This can go in his place. How much is it? What do you think? 25. No, 40. That's how much I paid for Polly. Oh, he's so cute. Kind of creepy a little bit. <laughs> what do I want? What do I want to decorate with? Do I want to go spring? Like, I don't know what I want to do. Happy spring. Look, right done again. Everybody loves her. That's really cute. Oh, it's a girl? Yeah, she's a designer. Right she's right here. I'm pretty sure at least. I like the spring stuff instead of more towards Easter, but you can like mix the two. Happy spring. Yes, cute. Love it. I didn't even know I was shopping for this stuff today. <laughs> We came for a garbage pail, what happened? Yeah, what happened? How did this happen is the question. <laughs> better question is, how many blankets am I gonna buy in my lifetime? Is the better question. And no garbage pail. And no garbage pail is what we came for. We did it, we did it. Uh oh, we did it. We went to TJ Maxx and spent too much money. Yeah, we did it, we did it. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, okay. Okay, anyways, next stop on the list, Tarjay, hey. The only thing that I need from here is yeah, makeup wipes. It doesn't matter, because the only thing you needed from the last place was a garbage pail. And I didn't even get it. <laughs> I didn't even get the garbage pail. You got a lot of shit. I am, garbage pail. I am gonna stop at um, Starbucks and grab a egg sandwich, like their turkey bacon and egg white sandwich, because it's really good and I'm hungry and I need something locale. So, we're gonna grab that, and we're also gonna see if they have a garbage can here, because that would be definitely helpful. Look what's over there, you guys! Adventureland! It's a like amusement park on Long Island. It's not like a big one, like a Six Flags. It's like a smaller one, but I grew up on it, and I'm so excited because it's opening at the end of this month. I'm so pumped! Okay, Target, I see you trying to prevent the coronavirus. Wipe it all down. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we're gonna touch, wipe that ish down. Have they always had these? That's Look amazing. We have to live now. <laughs> I have it at BJ's now too. Oh really? Me and Dad were there last week. They well, you know what? We should get a pack actually here and bring them around with it. us. You know, like even they when you go to home. even when you go to a restaurant, like just wipe down the table in front of you. Even though they do, but I you know, know what I mean. Or like the fast food Manhattan place. Too. Well, this makes me feel better because every time I put my hand on this, I want to put on hand sanity. Uh, so now it's at, I know. cleaned at least. That's awesome. Where's the garbage for it though? You just put it somewhere. Oh, in front of the thing. Oh, yeah, there's a garbage. She's gonna leave it on there. <laughs> oh my god, what does this world come to? This is terrifying. I wiped down right here too, because I tend to grab the cart here. All right, I need Starbucks. Oh, ASAP, let's go. Starbucks. <laughs> in Tarjai Hai and I really want to finish up our bedroom. I'm just so sick and tired of it being half decorated. I think these lamps are really cute. $47 each though, that's a little bit cray, but they're 15% off. That's still like $80 on lamps but they're cool. They are really nice, but like, can I find them elsewhere for cheaper? That's a little bit crazy. And they're a little too big, I think. What, or, nice unless we go with these ones, they're $35 and you can like, like you don't like them? But you can like go like, oh wait, hello? 
But you don't have gold in there, do you? No, that's the thing. These are really cool though. But that's gonna take up a lot of room on your. Yeah. yeah let's move on. Okay, we're moving on, I guess. <laughs> I do want to look at the clothes. Look how cute. <gasps> the little dresses. Yes. Says the girl who just spent two hundred and eighty dollars on Boohoo this morning. <laughs> Damn it, I really liked these, but they're all a large. Maybe they'll have them in a different section. I went on Boohoo this morning and did a huge order, so you guys will see that soon. But I got a bunch of like hoodies and sweatpants and comfy stuff. I just want to get stuff I'll actually wear, you know. So we're gonna do a closet purge soon. Oh my god, I found cropped graphic t-shirts. I'm buying all of them. This is a problem. This is not good. This is no good for Alyssa. SpongeBob, absolutely. <laughs> Before we leave, my mom is just trying a few things on. Cute. I love it. Little Cotton candy. So cute. Look what I spot right outside the fitting room. Oh my god, please have a small or an extra small, whatever you got. Medium, extra large. I see a small. Do they have extra small? That would be helpful. Okay, just a small. I'll take the small. That works. Oh my god, I hope they fit okay. Maybe I should try them on. Let's try them on. Alright, they're a little big, but I think that since... Yeah, my mom just said they'll shrink a little, which is what I was gonna say. They're gonna shrink in the dryer a little bit. Oh, they're just so like the perfect camo. Camo's hard to like make not look cheesy, you know what I mean? And I think this is a really good camo. The butt looks cute, so that's what matters. And they're really, really, really freaking comfortable. It's just like, I have them tied like pretty tight here. They're only 22 bucks. And the inside, so soft. This is if I untie them, super big. They just like fall. But once they're tied, they're fine. I'm okay with it. Check. 20 years later, let's grab the one thing that we came for. <laughs> camera fell. <laughs> That's a great filming. Damn it, I was trying to get a cool clip. <laughs> when did it fall? I, I thought know. I was getting a did cool get clip that whole time. This is so messed up. He put a coupon in for me, look. I know, he kept- I was gonna tell you seven. that, the cashier was so nice, he he was like being so nice to us, and he like gave us like coupons. Yeah, how cool? He well, like kept, just kept scanning the coupon until it went down to $27. Oh my god, he's I know. so nice, that man. Isn't he nice? <laughs> he said I look good and he still had his glasses on. <laughs> Time now. We'll put the hold on. This girl wants to get coronavirus. <laughs> not really. You gotta run out. Do you have more at home? Yeah. I don't know. There's none on the shelves, is there? Because everyone's buying it. <laughs> there was a sign that said you can only buy six things of hand sanitizer and wipes because people are buying all of we them. We didn't even look to see if they had it. The weirdest feeling with no water. I'm not a fan. I've never met someone that doesn't like hand sanitizer. Oh God, it was bothering me. She like, I gave her hand sanitizer. She goes like this. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I don't like it. Like, what the? Put it on your heads! Mm -hmm. I'm beat from shopping. Me too, you take me over the edge. Do you still want to go to Walmart? No. Okay. We we'll can go tomorrow, are you free? <laughs> <laughs> Did not expect to do all this today, but hey, it happens. We'll start with TJ Maxx because that's like the spring stuff that I got, like decor wise. First thing that I got is a super cute sign. I showed you guys this in the store, I think. It's got this rope up here. It looks like a giant tag, but I'm gonna hang it on the wall somewhere and it just says, hello spring. Something just to like brighten up and just a little bit of change for the springtime, you know? We're gonna be doing spring cleaning, spring wardrobe refresh, so I'm pumped. I also got this cutest little sign by Ray Dunn. It says happy spring on it. So simple, but so cute. I got a throw blanket to either refresh on the couch probably or maybe at the end of our bed because we're gonna be switching out our bed comforter soon we have that like fluffy warm one the wind just opened the door a little bit we have that like fluffy warm one for like the winter time but then in the spring and summer we have our comforter that um i got the duvet cover from home goods i believe or tj maxx or marshall's anyways it's just a lighter version so this could be like cute to put at the end of the bed to like add some texture and stuff i also ended up getting this bunny i asked you guys on instagram if you thought that bunnies were just for easter or if they were for springtime as well and a lot of you guys like 75 percent of you said that they can be for spring as well i agree i think it's it's cute 
That's a lot cute bunny. I did also end up getting this pillow because it just matches and it'll look so cute on our couch and I love good pillows on the couch. So cute. Oh, it was only $16.99. Amazing. I did also grab succulents because what better way to spruce up for spring than more greenery. How cute is this one? We went a little bit out of the comfort zone here, but I thought it was like more springy time. Like, I don't know, just something different. I don't know where we're going to put her yet, but she's cute. Maybe on the island. That would be cool. I feel like this is so dark. There we go. And then I also grabbed a succulent to replace the one in our bedroom because on our dresser, we have one that's kind of like a grass, but Bella feels the need to chew on it. It's a fake plant. It's not real, but she like gnaws on it and it's just gotten destroyed and I just don't really like it that much. I really like these like muted greens that almost have like a white like film over them. The one that we have in there is like kind of like a brighter green. It's just not really like my vibe anymore. So we're gonna replace it with this one. Hopefully she doesn't eat this one. But I just thought it was so pretty. Like can you see that? Oh, I love the container that it's in. Just so like, it just reminded me of spring. I don't know. And then I also grabbed more of these skinny rice bars from there. They had so many different flavors, but I wanted to stick with this one because I freaking loved it. I'm almost done with all of them already. They're 70 calories. They're like the rice cake with almonds and cinnamon. It's so good. Highly recommend if you guys want to try these out. $3.99. And they actually do, like, if you're hungry, they do hold you over for a little while. So way better than I was expecting. Rice cakes usually like taste like nothing, but those are like really flavorful. And then last but not least, I just saw these at the checkout they were $7.99 they're 192 bio base waste bags I'm pretty sure they're for like picking up dog poop but for the cat litter when we clean it Zane has been asking for these so finally went ahead and grabbed them because now it's a law in New York you can get plastic bags anywhere like not even if you pay five cents for them so they just don't even carry them and that's what we were using for cat litter to kind of like give it multiple uses you know after we get home from the store we would save them Benji's smelling you guys we would always save our plastic bags if we got them from a store so that we can use them for the cat litter but now we have these because we're running out of those and we're not gonna get any more from the store so stocked up 192 refills well that'll last us like a year we went to target i got a mat for outside because we just need a new one the one out there says hello pumpkin but it's so dirty and faded that you can't even tell <laughs> what it says on it so i'm so over those like brown ones because they just get so destroyed especially over here it's like windy and then the leaves and like the dirt i don't know i just feel like it's different than having a porch rather than it sitting right outside your door and not having like that porch area on a house so i wanted to grab one that hopefully won't get like dirty too quickly it already has stuff on it. It's just like pieces of paper, but anyways, I think this one will be better. It's like a plasticky, harder material, so excited to put that outside. Also because it smells like rubber, so it needs to go outside ASAP. I saw this super cute sign in the dollar section. It was five bucks. It says welcome on it, and I thought it would be so cute over on top of our stove, or maybe we can hang it somewhere like above the key ring or something like that. I don't know. Also, the five dollar price tags, they just get me going, you know? I have a really bad mentality where I'm like, if I go to like fast food, I'm gonna spend five dollars on food and then just eat it so I might as well get a sign that's cute and will stay forever right right that's my mentality got my makeup wipes also the nighttime ones I went to get a bag of mozzarella cheese but couldn't find it somebody bought it all but then I came across these the Baybel cheeses oh my god I used to have these when I was younger they're so bomb 70 calories so cool little snack and you guys it's been a while but lo and behold she's back yeah if you guys have been watching, you know, if you're new, Chobani flips are my absolute ish. Love them so much. I got Zane addicted to them too. And we just haven't gotten them because honestly, we've been shopping at that new grocery store, Lidl, and they don't have them there. So we just haven't bought them in a while. But our favorite flavor is the s'mores one. So I grabbed two of those and I was going to get four of those until I saw finally... I knew this was a flavor, but they had never carried it anywhere where I had seen. And I finally found it. Zane is going to be so excited. Oh my God. I'm so excited for this one. Oh my god, I hope it's good. And lastly, I got a few clothing items. You guys saw these. I got these camo joggers. Pumped about those. And I also grabbed two cropped tees. So that table that they had, some of them were long sleeve crops, which I didn't really want. And then there were just some prints that I didn't really like after looking at them. So I only got two out of all of them. But this one was on sale for $6.48. It's just like a gray washed tee. And then it has sunflowers. And it says sunflowers at the bottom. They did only have this in a medium as the smallest size so it's just gonna be a little oversized but still super cute crop tees are like my new ish well, i mean i've been wearing them but like 
now that the weather's getting warmer i'm excited to get more and then this one is another one of my favorites it's just like a beige color this is like i just love this color so much i don't know what it is but it says more kindness more good vibes in yellow so i think it's so cool it does say color change on here i don't know what that means maybe the yellow changes in like a certain light i don't know or maybe the beige color no idea but i got this one in a size extra small because i think it was supposed to be like super oversized like it looks big already so got an extra small because i think that's gonna be oversized enough on me Whew. and with all that being said that is everything look what he just discovered <laughs> not only that though i got you two presents presents yeah what? oh i'm gonna go put these bad boys on right now <laughs> Dreams come true. 192 refills? Yeah. They're environment friendly like you've been asking for. Look, eight bucks too. Look at us doing well. Oh, shit. 192 <laughs> bags. Yeah. That'll probably last us a year. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> that's so funny. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm gonna go clean the cat litter right now. Yeah, get excited. <laughs> I had bought this rug from the dollar store and it's just obviously not doing it. Maybe we'll put this at the top of the stairs. And this one here was supposed to say hello pumpkin and it's just a hot disaster. MJ, you wanna come outside? Want me to put on your harness? <laughs> we have my handy dandy outdoor broom. It's so dirty out here. We're gonna have to power wash this. You hear him, bitch. Let's make sure she fits before we take the tag off then. <gasps> Look! I'm never buying a new mat ever again until we move. <laughs> Yay! And if this gets dirty, we just brush it off. Literally, with a broom. Nice! Get Benji. Get you, little! Benji, you gotta go inside. You ain't getting no coronavirus. You're crazy. You better stay inside, little sneak. That one looks so much better. This needs to be power washed. Oh my God, the winter destroyed it. I'm so excited to do this backyard for the summertime, you guys. I have so many plans. Just get excited for backyard renovations 2.0. <laughs> decorating and reorganizing around here. Well, not reorganizing, I guess more decorating. I took stuff away and put new stuff there, but I'll show you guys that in a little bit because I am so hungry. It has been hours. We actually went out shopping at one o'clock and I didn't get home until like a little bit after five. So like four hours of shopping and walking around on my feet. I know it sounds stupid, but I'm like exhausted from today. Shopping is, is tiring. It is now 7.20 and we just made some dinner really quick. Zane went ahead and made stuffed chicken i'm so freaking excited we sauteed some spinach and then put garlic and herb goat cheese in there and then he put it in the cast iron to get like a crisp on it and then finished it in the oven and then i just did a steamed bag of veggies in the microwave and put some salt on it and that's the dinner for tonight oh yum goat cheese is one of our favorite like things like i love putting it on like all my meat i think it makes it so delicious especially the garlic and herb like one it's just so flavorful and delicious and creamy mm. anyways i'm gonna enjoy this and then i will uh show you guys what i did for springtime okay here we go i don't know what i want to do with this sign yet i'm not sure where i want to put it and also my plan for this thing was to go above the stove i thought that would have been so cute but i uh underestimated a little bit she's a little too big so we have to find a spot of where to put her she has holes to <laughs> why am i referring it to she so much it has holes on the back to hang it on the wall somewhere so but i just feel weird putting it somewhere else than other than where you like walk in and it says like welcome in you know what i mean so 
that's patent pending. I just switched out the succulent that we had here for this one. It's like springy, you know? And then over here on the island, this is where I really like to put some decor for whatever I'm decorating for. Like on Christmas, there's a Christmas tree here. During fall time, there's pumpkins here. So this is a succulent I was gonna put in our bedroom, but it just fills up this space so much nicer than a smaller succulent. So we're gonna leave that there. I think that's the beauty of buying a bunch of stuff and you just don't know where you're gonna put it yet. So that's fine, put her there. That's about it for that thing. And then I am gonna switch out our comforter today, but the duvet cover needed to go in the wash for sure. It had like uh, self tanner stains on it and it was just like needed to be washed, duh. So that's in the washing machine right now. I did put the new blanket that I got here, but I'm thinking that this will look really nice in the bedroom once our comforter is clean and on. So we'll see that later, but obsessed with the pillow. It looks so freaking cute. I love having a pillow like this here. I have one for Christmas and for fall as well, like horizontally, like a small one. So I think that looks super cute. I like the one checkered pillow and then the two fluffy ones. I don't know. I just feel like it tied in really well. And then I still need to find lamps for here. I want what I saw at Target today, but like a little bit smaller. I think those would have been way too big, but let me know if you guys know where I should get them. I'm going to look on the computer within the next few days. The computer, what am I old? I'm going to look online within the next few days for like a black lamp that goes up with like a shade. I don't know, or something like that, or like just a light bulb. I don't know, something sort of like that, whatever. Over here on our dresser, I'm still a little bit iffy about this, but I just put the sign that says happy spring and then I moved the succulent that was in the kitchen in here. And I think it looks pretty cute. It's definitely pretty simple, but I don't know. It's fine for now. I'm never really crazy about decorating our bedroom. I don't know why, it's always my last priority. I just remembered too, I wanted your guys' opinion on this. Let me know if this is weird. Maybe it should just say something different, but I do think that the perfect spot for this would be over this rack right here. It just like looks so, oh, this pillow. Oh my God, I'm, am I okay today? This would look super cute right above this rack, but saying welcome is kind of weird in the bathroom, is it? I don't know, or welcome to the bathroom? I don't know, is that weird? Or another option is in the hallway to put it right under these pictures of us. I think that would be super cute as well. Anyways, you guys, it is now like 7.55 and it's a Tuesday night. But there is a two night bachelor this week. So we watched the first episode last night and now we are about to watch the second episode. And I need to hurry up, I'm getting more veggies on my plate. Zane and I have been really, really into it and yesterday's episode was so good. And I think tonight is like literally the last one because it was a two part finale, so yeah. Tonight is definitely the last one. So I wanna go put our duvet cover in the dryer and then that's it. We're ready to watch. All right, we finished up watching The Bachelor a little while ago. I'm not gonna bore you guys with my opinion on it, but let's just say that it was a hot mess. Duvet cover is now clean. All my self-tanner stains came out of it. For the most part, there's a little bit of yellowing right here, but that's on the other side. You're not gonna see that. This is the one that we have on right now. It's from Target. It's my absolute favorite comforter. It's so soft and it was like so affordable. These things are like usually super expensive. So freaking warm. Is it actually, when is the first day of spring? Hey Siri, when is the first day of spring? Spring begins the 19th of March oh. and ends the 19th of June. It is almost spring. Next week is spring, it's fine. I was gonna say, it's not even close to spring, but it is. Billy, try to take it off. She's like, oh no, you're not taking this blanket. It's my favorite. Guys, Bella loves the bed when there's nothing on it. When it's like just the sheet, she gets so excited for some reason. What happened? Okay, so since this was in storage, I'm just gonna lay it out flat and spray it with Febreze before we put the fresh cover on it, just to make sure it's super duper fresh. I'm actually so excited to have this comforter back. I love this comforter. We're gonna use the fabric Febreze, it smells so good. By the way, this is like a down comforter, so it's like super thick. It's in my Amazon store. Link down below in the bedroom section. Super easy to find and shop. I'm about to give you guys a life hack on how to put on a duvet cover. It's definitely a little stained from all my self tanning. I think just because it was dirty and sitting in storage, like I didn't wash it right away. That's the problem here. So next time I go to Home Goods or something, I'm gonna see if I can find a new duvet cover because I got this at like Marshall's and it's so freaking cute. It's got like the little dots on it. Oh, I love it. Simple with some texture. Okay, so first things first, you get your duvet. Then you're gonna go inside and go all the way to the corners. So you're gonna have one corner in one hand, one corner in the other, and we're turning her inside out. Woo! Now that it is inside out, we're gonna do the same thing again. Go inside, grab the corners. Telling you guys, I know a lot of people know how to do this hack, but if you didn't, life changing. Oh my god, it smells so good. Fresh laundry, Ugh. Take those corners 
and you're gonna grab the edge of your blanket. So you've got the duvet inside out, your hands inside, and you're grabbing each side of your insert. Now literally, just make it inside out. This is kinda hard to show you guys. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna stand and just shake it on. Don't let go of those corners. Oh, it's a workout. That's pretty much half of it. And now I'm just gonna drag it on. Then you just adjust at the top and close it up. duvet cover looks amazing I'm so excited the only thing I just realized is uh, I put on these king size covers on these big pillows from our sheet set but I just realized that these are supposed to go on there they match with this and they're too big for these pillows because they're big enough to go on here so I definitely want to switch those but first I want to wash these because they're kind of just like need to be washed cute though I'm thinking maybe I'll switch this pillow out for something new we shall see I do want to see what that throw blanket looks like on here Are you throwing a funeral for this blankie? It'll come back next year, I promise. I never put a throw on our bed, but I just feel like it could look pretty cute. The question is, do we want to throw like on the side or, or, hear me out, hear me out, it like this. How would we feel if it was like this or like the sideways, whatever, and we got a pillow that matched? Like a decorative pillow that goes with this instead of that cream pillow. Do we like that or no? Is this too blue? I think it could be cute if I get a pillow that matches. Let me know what you guys think. I do feel kind of cool sitting right here, not gonna lie, it looks a little fancy. <laughs> With all that being said, you guys, that's gonna do it for me today. I just went to get a notification shot though, and I saw that we hit 160K! So exciting! Thank you guys so freaking much from the bottom of my heart for supporting me in any which way. I truly appreciate every single, single little speck of support that any of you guys give me. If we grow, that's great, but if we stay right here with my little fam, I have no problem with that. Freaking love you guys. Ow, Benji is attacking me. Anyways, today's notification shout out goes to Haley Renee. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for having on your notifications. It means the absolute world to me. I love you so very much. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, please comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!